part of my chest. And I would never, ever, ever let you guys see my ankles. So skirts could only be, and let me preface this by saying, these rules were written into a contract that a teacher had. You break the rules, you were fired. Or at the very least, you had a talking to. So it's not just, oh, this is the way it is. No, the school district said, your skirt could not be more than two inches above your ankle. And the reason is because you weren't supposed to see my legs. Even though I have high boots on, I would have worn stockings so that if I have to pull my skirt up, you wouldn't see my legs. That was considered very inappropriate, okay? The other thing is, she has pants on. Is it okay for women to wear pants? No. Nowadays? Yes. How about 100 years ago? No. no. Some women did wear pants, but not very often. Little girls, there is not what you have a dress on. Thank heavens, because you are correct. The rest of you little girls, incorrect. You do not be able to wear pants at all. Little girls and women didn't wear pants, okay? The other thing is, this was usually the largest building in that area. So the community that lived around this building used this as a community hall, which is what they called it, okay? So they not only had school there, they had other gatherings there. So let me ask you this. Has Soda Creek ever had a funeral that you know of in their cafeteria? No? You think? <laughs> what would happen if I called up your principal and said, my Uncle Ed died and we really would like to have the funeral service in your cafeteria? Do you think your principal would say yes? Probably not. That's really creepy. She would probably say, thank you, but no, there are other places to have it. What if I wanted to get married? And I went, I was always going to get married in Southern Creek's gymnasium, is that okay? She would probably say, no, there are other places. But if this is the only place in the area to have a wedding, to have a funeral, to have an election, to have dances, to have parties, then that's what this school was used for. Now, your school is pretty much used for your school. Occasionally they might have a meeting there in the library. Occasionally they might have a concert or something in the uh, cafeteria or something. But usually it's just a school, right? It's creepy to walk into the cafeteria and think, ooh, they had a funeral here, that's gross. No, we don't do that anymore. Thank heavens. Okay, so I have 53 seconds. <laughs> Good <laughs> job. Really, really hard. The last thing I wanted to tell you is this is exactly what your desks look like in your classroom, right? No. Not a bit. These are weird desks. If you'll notice, this seat, which is the seat for the desk in front of it, is attached to the desk behind it. So these desks all had to be in a line. You guys either have desks or tables where the teacher can move it all over, right? Mm -hmm. You couldn't move these because I'm the child here. If this person said, I want to move my chair, if he moves his chair, I'm like, wait, 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 no, 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 okay? This is what it used to look like. Then eventually, somebody, and I don't know when, went, well, that's really dumb. Let's not have this connected to that. Let's have them disconnected and we can move them all over. So if you can imagine, yes, I know. <laughs> Sorry, cancel. Please cancel. <laughs> if you can imagine going to school in a one-room schoolhouse 100 years ago, every single line test would have to be in a line. Extremely boring, okay? Now, you know all about schools. You can go home and look at your mom and go, that's inappropriate that you, I'm just being your toes or something like that. 